they say men are trash, they don't mean you who knows his place in society. For as long as there is a rascal made, all of us were a mess. How social media influenced men are trash. I mean, I, f I feel that it made it. Um, I, I think that actually the, that, the, that slogan was enough for everyone to just jump on it. Because I feel that that slogan was kind of um, offensive to us guys. Men are trash was quite a big deal because within it, it unraveled a lot of illnesses that are taking place in the country towards women. The, the men are trash social media uh, stunt, I think it's just generalizing a lot of uh, things and it's ruining the good thing. Uh, part of it, I think we need to address it in, in, in a sense that it, it could accommodate all of us as, as men. It's, it's somehow painting the picture for the, the entire country that uh, every man has, has on that. So it actually got our attention. So social media these days, the moment you actually say something that's bad about someone, or about the government or anything actually, you are going to get attention. I think we should walk together, be together and really just support this men are trash hashtag and just be safe, basically. This after the Karabo thing, that's when we actually started seeing that there are other guys out there that are mentally disturbed. I'm just going to say mentally disturbed in that man because I don't feel as a guy, even if you punch her once, I doubt that she can actually come back and hit you the same way you hit her. It's just a wake up call. Hearing story, stories like Karabo um, being burnt by her boyfriend, it's really something that really triggers you as a person, as a woman. You might not be doing the trashing but you might be knowing somebody who's doing the trashing, you know. So, um, again, you know, the social media thing, generalizing, it's for us to have a conversation. Because if they said an individual is trash, then, I mean, this whole, like, you know, campaign and this whole thing, it would have been nothing. It would have just been like a, a two-day thing, and then it would have been over. In the newspapers that a two-year-old was raped and killed by her father. How can you have a problem that we're going around saying men are trash? Men are more than trash. Men are the problem in our lives as women. Yo, bro. it doesn't mean if I'm sitting on a dustbin, it means I'm trash. I just don't believe in starting a fight nah, and then going back with fire again. If you want to stop it, start with something else positive. You can't actually go in and say, oh, men are trash now. You're not fixing anything at all. Women are like engines. And men are like the bodies of the cars. Of cars, yeah, the bodies. So when an engine chooses the, the direction it takes, the body will go. So which direction are you pushing as women as powerful as you are? In other words, teach us men or say something else that is more positive. Men are not trash. Maybe change it up. Say evil men are trash. Then you're breaking down the walls that you've put up. You've put everybody in a box. Break the box. Like now it's your um, platform to just um, paint a guy wrong. See, So if you want to do it, just do it in a subtle way. I just believe that this statement, men are trash, you're just making it worse in my books. People ask me all the time, why do we have to do this as women? Because you're more powerful than us. Whether we like it or not, your words create. So create nothing but good. What is the solution in my view to this problem? Rise good men and voice it in action.